Their nine lives may be running out but if a major project works, Scottish wildcats could eventually roam the nation once again, find Sandra Dick. Somewhere between the polar bear, the Bactrian camel and the Japanese macaque, Felis sylvestris, among the rarest of them all, is usually found hiding behind a can, up a tree or curled up in a ball, snoozing. At noon most days, however, visitors to the Highland Wildlife Park at Kincraig near Arvimore will be treated to a fleeting glimpse of its bushy tail, mean green yellow eyes and thick fur, as one of the nation's most elusive creatures emerges to snatch a lump of meat for lunch before retreating to the shadows. For most park visitors, that brief glimpse of the Scottish wildcats is at the top of their list of must-see attractions, possibly alongside Hamish the juvenile polar bear, a national treasure and the first cub born in the UK for 25 years, and the Amur tiger. What they won't see, however, is a massive behind-the-scenes effort spanning the UK and Europe, and which it's hoped will throw a lifeline to ensuring Scottish wildcats, 70 times more endangered than the giant panda, will not just be around for generations to come but could eventually become established in locations right across Scotland. Tucked out of sight on a patch of the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland's park which is out of bounds to visitors, a new wildcat reintroduction centre is about to become ground zero for the survival of a fragile species entwined in Scottish national identity but currently in a fierce cat fight for its very survival. A combination of cross-breeding with feral and domestic cats, habitat loss, road accidents, historic persecution and disease has all but wiped out the purest of Scotland's treasured wildcat population. Left to their own devices, the tiny number with genes not already severely diluted from mating with outsiders, will dwindle, fade and disappear. Hopes are now pinned on a £5.5 million scheme led by the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland, RZSS and, almost certainly, some amorous intervention from the species' closest European cousins to help the Scottish wildcat get back on its feet. By the end of this year, the first wildcats will be unsettled in at the new reintroduction centre, 12 breeding pairs which, assuming nature takes its course, should produce enough healthy offspring to see 60 wildcats reintroduced to carefully picked spots in the Cairngorms over a three-year period. Eventually it's hoped they could be reintroduced elsewhere in Scotland, raising the possibility of the creatures becoming commonplace across the country. Although, according to David Barkley, Cat Conservation Project Officer with the RZSS who currently oversees the 107 wildcats in the UK-wide breeding programme, the first challenge is to save the handful of remain and for more on this story, visit the news article link.